Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music, and we're going to break down uh, this classic Hendrix tune. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, also, thanks for su supporting uh, and hopefully subscribing here to Marty Music. I uh, also have a new Hendrix course. You can check out links down there for all that. Uh, let's break it down. All right, so we're tuned down a half step, so E-flat tuning. Hendrix does that. And then we've got this E major bar chord here. We can kind of see that. And then what I call the Hendrix major chord, which is the inversion. So it's kind of in that spot. So you're barring across the ninth fret and it's a piece of that E major chord. And so you're gonna focus your strumming on the D, G, and B. And we're gonna hammer with our ring finger up to the 11 and our middle of the 11 of the D and 10 of the B. A hammer. So it's like two hammer downs. And after you do that second one and it comes off, aim for that D string that you're barring, but you're gonna hear that G string in there as well. So. So the first one's just a hammer. Second one is. After that, you hear, it's like a, you could think of it as like a ghost stroke, which is a real big on the Hendrix style. You can hear an open uh, G and B string, but you can think of it as that, it's that. You hear that, it's so quick. So real slow. So it's just a little open. And then we're doing across the nine there hammering up to the 11 on the A, so. Back to that little D, G cluster, so. And then E, E, and I'm hitting the open E. You could do that. I'm hitting the octave with it, which is the seventh fret of the A string. So. Real slow. Now you do the same move that we did here, but a whole step down, but you still hit the E, so. Like that, so. So the next, the verse is a variation, or I mean, he's varying it all over the place with lots of his classic Hendrix embellishments that he does on, on his songs for like chord substitutions or like instead of A major chord, there's a whole world of just little licks that shout out A major instead of just strumming to A major chord. So. That, that's what makes it hard to teach his stuff. And also he's doing it a little different every little piece. So we have the top, and now we have this verse. It's an A major, which he would do with the thumb. And then an open E. And it's basically like a D major chord over that. I mean, there's different ways to think of the chord. 
It's like a D over E. And so I'm barring across the seventh fret here. Now, that octave's right there. It's gonna sound a little cleaner if you if you don't hit that, so it's just, you know, less, you know, less stuff in the way. As opposed to, but they're both gonna work. And then you have this little thing as we're covering that, and that's ringing out. There's all little variations, but you have, which is pinky, 10, still holding that. And that's 10, nine, back to where my pinky was on the 10th there. this little room to play around with that. And then the bass is going. So it's climbing up. So you can combine, and there is lots of variation on the over the A major. So. So there's this little piece of A major. And so if you have your ring finger on the seventh fret, think of it as A major. And you have this little A major pentatonic piece. And so it's basically seven and nine, but you slide up with your ring finger on the E string. And then you go up this little box. that box and what's great about all the pentatonic stuff which there's so much pentatonic involved I've been studying all the Hendrix stuff for like the last year in depth again and I'm just realizing how much of those embellishments are pentatonic based so like you have this little box right here And so you can just hit the next string over and you get those double stop sounds. And as you go up that box, you feel the chord transition to that open E string. So like. There's a time where he does it reverse. Any combination of that little thing there. All of that works. Um, there's another thing that Hendrix does for major chords with the root on the E string. It's this little thing right here. So if you have A major, put your middle finger on that fifth of the chord. You'd use this thumb on the root right there. And 
And so what you do is you have this nine of the chord right here, which would be the fourth fret G string. And so you have fifth fret B. But then you hammer the major third, so you get this. And then you have the root right there on the seventh fret of the D string. Once again, that's it's A major pentatonic. But with a little next door notes. So that's for any thing like that. So let's see. Uh, so from the top. on A and you go back to that first chord from the intro and you hit and it he varies it each time it does this so you go so we'll use this first one as the template so it goes that's the first little rhythm where it, it starts with a pull off. And so that's all together starting with that pull off. And after that, it kind of reverses it and it goes. Where now you're hammering, then strumming it again. that gets you to the chorus, which is E, G, and A. E, 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 G. But obviously he's not keeping it like that, he's playing it like Hendrix. So, once again, lots of different variations and stuff going on. So that's that's the main one that he's doing. And that's a tasty little double stop. That's That's where I'm playing it. And so that starts on the seventh fret G and seventh fret high E. You can mute that B string like with your middle finger. Or you can, I'm doing a pick. And it's just that B string is muted. Uh, so. A little sloppy there. So then you have, most of the time, G on the chorus, he's playing like that. His thumb bar chord version thing. But it's a G, straight up G. And then on the A, he's doing that major pentatonic a lot. So. just sliding up and he's hitting on that that ninth fret but then it goes back to the E so it's like uh... And 
and then that E, E octave, E power chord. Right back into the. thank you so much hope that helped you out uh, also check the link down there first comment actually uh, I've got a new Hendrix course and I appreciate the support uh, thanks for uh, supporting Marty music and I hope to see you again take care